Thank you for joining us for Real Estate in the Low Country. I'm Betsy McDaniel. Of course, several guests are here to share some great information, but first, a look at what's going on locally. As the quest for workforce housing continues to be a hot topic, two projects recently went before Hilton Head's Planning Commission in the hopes of having their requests for rezoning approved. One of those plans was unanimously approved, and the other was sent back to the drawing board. The Commission liked the proposal to relax zoning on two plots of land bisected by Fish Hall Road, allowing 74 units on the just over six acres of land, with the restriction that development is mostly residential. That plot is currently zoned for 40 units. The Commission was not as excited about a proposal to rezone the Tidal Bluff area to increase density on Dillon Road. Fifteen duplexes currently sit on the Long Skinny property. The application requested to rezone for 59 units on the nearly five-acre plot. Commissioners decided the property was too narrow to accommodate more units without disrupting the nearby single-family homes. The existing 15 duplexes are all currently rented by the Sinesta Resort for their workers. The Hilton Head Association of Realtors and the Mortgage Lenders Association of Greater Hilton Head are now accepting applications for their annual charity grants. 501c3 organizations that support housing initiatives or the quality of life in Beaufort and Jasper counties may apply for the grants. Deadline is Friday, September 13th. Go to hhrealtor.com to apply. Check out the media sources on your screen for more information on these and other stories, and check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. Much more to come, so don't go away.